Okay, good morning, welcome to. Superman from 180. Superman 180. So we're in the review section and we just did a problem of a, a sphere is inscribed in a box and we moved on and the, this next problem was about the sphere is inscribed in a cone. Hmm. So it says we got a sphere inscribed in a cone. The radius of the cone is 9 and the height is 12. Find the radius of the sphere. Very interesting question. So, we don't know much about spheres and cones. No, we sure don't. Well, what do we know? What do we know how to do in this problem? Well, we do know how to find the volume of the cone. We have the base and the height. Yeah. We need to find. We need to find a way to find some sides or some lengths that relate to the radius. Yeah, it's tough with these inscribed three-dimensional objects. You got to find. You got to find the right way to look at the picture. Well, I see an idea. Okay. So what if we look at it straight on? All right. So it would look something like this. The cone would look like a triangle. All right. And the sphere would look like a circle. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And this this would be 18. 18 that way. All right. And the Like a circle, but well, that's okay. I had a hard time drawing this picture too. Then these, this is the slant height. Okay. So we have a the slant would be nine, twelve. This is three times three, four times three. This should be sixteen. Right. Five times three. Okay, great. So. I can find the in radius if I know what the area is. Okay. Well, this height should pass through that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about the picture being off by a little bit. So this is nine. I mean, yeah, the height is the height here. Okay. So the area is eighteen times nine over two. Area of the triangle, the area of a triangle involving its in radius is the semi perimeter times the in radius. Alright. So S times R is 81. The semi perimeter is 30, 48 divided by 2, 24. simplified just a little bit. It's twenty seven eighths. Okay. Now you made a very small mistake in this problem that compounded a little bit. Hmm. So go back to your triangle. What is the area of that triangle? So it's oops. 18 times 12, not 18 times 9. So just write it, write it next to it, like take a step sideways. So, 18 times 12 over 2, which is 9 times 12, or 108. Okay. So now we can, S times R is 108. 4 times R is 108. 
the radius is 108. said was 9 times 12. So, we can take out a 12, 9 to 2. Okay. There you go. So the radius is 9 halves. Alright, so this is a tremendous solution. Well, we want, to, we want to look at what's going on here with the geometry. We don't know much about inscribed spheres, but we do know a little bit about inscribed circles. And if you just slice it down the middle, or what, like you said, look at it just from completely straight on, which is equivalent to just slicing it down the middle, you get this picture. And that's going to be the radius of the sphere. And we get a triangle that's an 18, 15, 15 triangle with a height of 12. Important to remember that height is 12. Yep. All right. So, there you go. Good job. So, that was a great solution. Really well done.